Obviously, uh, Sergio Blanco has also had a terrific tournament. Three assists and a goal to his name. He's delivered that right on the money, and Ibobise couldn't quite keep the header down. Abiala, who's forward, Eric Williamson will be an interested party too. It's whipped in. Oh, in the end, Valeri went for goal. And Primislav Titon had to be equal to it. That's when they force a turnover. Valeri, lovely angle ball. Oh, it's a delight. Oh, and a great save. Primislav Titon stymieing GB Jara, who was seeking his first ever Timbers goal. The LAFC Orlando game will be. Very uh, promising too as Valeri goes for it for distance. Teton. Teton looking for a clear side of it. It took a deflection and I'm not sure if Teton actually got a fingertip to it. It was heading wide. Medunian in, serving it in decently. Oh! Taken the lead. The Cinderella story continues right at the stroke of midnight, too. Deplan ghosting in. And are they driving their way to a quarterfinal appearance? Well, they are going to go and have a look. Let's see if we can hear the audio here. Kevin, let it play. Let it play. Let it play. Let it play. Yes, he definitely gets the ball, I'll, so yes. I'll bring it back for you one more time at the kick point. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, he's offside. Armando Villarreal and the VAR official Rosendo Mendoza. And much to the chagrin of uh, Matthew Duplan and most of the residents of the city of Cincinnati. The goal does not stand. Now Villafania. And uh, a little bit of space here for Blanco. He's got in it around the back. Can he use it? Yes, he can. And Nils Golder is there to prod it home. They opened up FC Cincinnati, split them apart down the left-hand side. And Nils Golder was ruthless with his finish. Others start getting tired. No running with Sebastián Blanco. Wide open. Cable Stanco just watching. And then just watching inside the 18-yard box. Because the plan has to come out for Blanco. Then you have Waston coming to the near post. You have a late reaction for Pedersen. So much so that Nias Gola is able to take a touch on the ball inside the six-yard box. Two touches. Target goalpost cam says goal. one nothing Portland. He would be tough to beat in a stare-down contest. Oh, it's a loose touch for Steve Clark, and he brought him down. And it's an absolute disaster for Steve Clark something similar to this we saw it in mls cup what what are you doing what are you doing and i mean let me ask you this very clearly what are you doing just hold on to the ball just grab it with your hands you try to get cute take an unnecessary risk credit to alan cruz that gets there this is a foul Lacadia against Clark and Lacadia has done it and FC Cincinnati have saved themselves here with 10 minutes to go 1-1 honestly I have nothing to do with this game I have no interest in either one of this team and this makes me upset it's a good finish by you're gonna give the, give him the credit he deserves, and give Alan Cruz the credit he deserves for following up on the play. I have a segment of You Know It and You Love It, yeah. MLS Awards. Yeah. This would qualify, and not in a good way. That's a shot from distance that Teton is equal to. And any resistance disappear, now they have to dig deep and do it all over again. Valeri. Valeri, lovely! Oh, it just flicked off the top of the crossbar. Nice little touch and leave for Valeri, who follows his pass. It's good contact on the ball, just leaning slightly. Teton not getting there. It's opened up here for the shot. Oh, and Clark bubbled it against the post. It was so nearly catastrophe number two for him. 
And Cruz. Good running from De Jong. Oh, and what a chance for Licardia. An unbelievable miss. Another glance at the watch. And that is that. 1-1. After 90 minutes. Portland and Cincinnati are going to a penalty shoot. Clark has already had a look at what Licardia does from 12 yards. Is he going to do the same thing again? Licardia and Steve Clark has guessed the right way and given the Portland Timbers a huge step forward. Very little commitment there from Locadia. It was so poorly taken that Steve Clark almost dives out of the way. Sebastian Blanco. Blanco does! Teton guessed the right way this time but couldn't get there. Short run up as well. Austin against Clark. Oh! You sensed it, Ali. It's a disaster for FC Cincinnati. Then Cincinnati home. Point of no return for FC Cincinnati. Nears Goda. And he has done it. And the Portland Timbers survive. Their trial at the hands of FC Cincinnati. They have emerged via the penalty shootout. And this MLS back tournament is over. You know who that is? That's Steve Clark breathing right now. Excitement, passion, emotion from Giovanni Savarez and his coaching staff. They knew that this would be difficult. They made it even more difficult for themselves. Steve Clark had a lot to do with that.